Wow! Oh, I have a huge display just in front of me. Have you ever wished to fly your DJI Air 3S with goggles to get the real FPV feeling? Unfortunately, so far it's not possible. It is possible with the DJI Air 3, with the goggles 2, or with the goggles 3, but uh, not for the F3S. So recently I stumbled upon AR glasses, uh, which you simply connect to your controller, and I thought for myself, let's give it a try. So here we are. I have the X3 One glasses now, and uh, simply put, just plug it into your RC2 controller, what this means is that every drone which supports the RC2 controller can now be flown with the AR glasses. So how does it look like? What are things we have to consider when buying something like that? This is what we'd like to talk about in this video. First, let's talk a little bit about design. Those are the goggles 2. I use them with my Avada and with my Air 3. They're fully closed, so if you put them on, you will have no sunlight left, right, top or bottom coming into your uh, face, in front of your eyes. Um, unfortunately, the distance between the lenses, you can adjust them, but they never worked for me to get it exactly that I have a sharp picture from left to right. Otherwise, um, yeah, if you have it for a longer time, it's heavy, it will put pressure on your nose. And for me, after 10 minutes, I felt, okay, I have to stop because it's too heavy for a long time. I don't like it. So a comparison, the AR glasses. AR glasses are like normal sunglasses. And uh, you have normal wear, it's uh, something like 80 grams what you have on your nose, so much lighter. Uh, on the negative side, yes, for sure, you will see left and right what's next to you, but this is also an advantage because you can see your surrounding. And uh, another thing to consider is these are the x one They have the bird path design. So if a closer look at the glasses, hopefully you can see it, they're angled at a 45 degree. That means uh, this kind of technique, you might get reflection from your shirt in sunlight if you have a white shirt, but this can be so with um, light blockers. In comparison, the X3 One Pro, the newer model, will have prism lenses, so they're straight and you won't have those reflections. So, how does it look in real life and what are the expected sizes you get in front of your face if you put them on? Therefore, let's first uh, check the specs from x -Real. So here we see the user guide for the x one series of AR glasses. Uh, first of all, which devices are compatible, iPhone, laptop, Nintendo. But interesting for us are two settings. First of all, the dimming, the electrochromic dimming. And uh, as you can see, they have three levels. This means uh, how much will you see still what's in front of you while flying your drone. So imagine this picture here is the RC2 display and what you see. There are three levels and depending on your needs, you can totally black out what's in front of you. This is for the dimming, so just how uh, much would you like to see. And then back to the user guide and we have the adjustment of the screen size. So this means uh, you can choose how big the picture in front of you in the AR glasses are, which you are see during flying. So as you can see, we've got, you can change the distance, how far in front of you is the display, four, six, eight, ten meters, you can change whatever you like. And then you can also adjust the screen size. So do you want to have a small portion which is displaying your controller or do you want to have a full size 100%? So field of you 100%, those are the settings uh, you will need to see it at 100%. So this is a lot of theory, but now let's go outside and see how the big screen looks like if you wear the AR glasses. 
To get an idea how it looks like, if you mirror the RC2 to your glasses, I park my car over here and will now um, overlay the display of the RC2 with my car so you get an idea of how it looks like. What works for the R3S obviously works for the R3 as well because they share the same controller, the RC2. And now I have some tips and tricks for you for optimal flying. So let's get started. The first tip I have for you is the transparency mode. I can figure it on the quick button over here, just press it once, and I can see everything around me. Display is gone, I can now prepare my drone for starting. Uh, look at the controller, everything's clear to see. After I'm airborne, press it again. Now I have my display of the RC2 controller. I can move my head left and right, and it's always coming with me, the display. This is called the follow mode. The third mode, and I consider this as a very handy one, is the anchor mode. Press it once. Now my display is fixed in this direction. And as soon as I move my head to the right, it is transparent. I can see everything. Move it back to where my display is anchored. I can see display. And the very nice feature is if I now want to do something at the remote control, I can move down. It's transparent again. I can do everything I want. Back up again. And I see my screen from the RC2 controller. Very handy. This feature is called anchor mode combined with automatic transparency. Now here are my final thoughts. Can I recommend this? Yes, sure. Three things I want to point out. First, it's very light, much lighter than the goggles I use with my Avada. Second, you can still see your surrounding left and right. And even if you fix the display of the RC2 in one direction, as soon as you turn left or right, you can see clearly everything. And third, you can do very precise flying. So I would never dare to fly on a bridge like this, only trusting the RC2. In this respect, thumbs up. If you've got any further questions, don't hesitate to comment or contact me. And if you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.